Google Analytics sucks. Since the launch of Google Analytics 4 in 2020, many users have struggled to get an at-a-glance view of their website's performance. Google made the dashboard more complicated, and it honestly feels like you need a degree in data science to understand it. So what happened to Google Analytics, and what are some viable alternatives to track your site's performance? Over the past few years, Google Analytics has transitioned away from the legacy Universal Analytics platform to GA4. Google Analytics used to be most people's go-to solution for tracking site metrics. It was easy, reliable, and free for most users. That all changed when Google started to face pressure for its invasive data collection practices. When GDPR was passed in Europe, along with the California Consumer Privacy Act in 2018, Google was forced to pivot quickly and reimagine its analytics platform in a more privacy-respecting way. And that led to the swift rollout of Google Analytics Analytics 4, or GA4 for short. GDPR is the reason GA4 no longer stores IP addresses or other personally identifiable information. These changes make it more difficult to track individual user sessions, meaning GA4 limits the type of data you can see compared to the legacy Universal Analytics. However, none of this explains why the dashboard in GA4 is so bad. It's not just that valuable data is no longer available. The data that GA4 does track is incredibly difficult to visualize. In these days, when more and more users are trying to get away from Google, why are we still willingly installing a Google tracking script to hand over visitor data to Google? For many, including myself, defaulting to Google Analytics is a habit since I've always seen Google Analytics as the platform to use. But the irony is, since migrating to GA4, I'm not even checking my dashboard anymore. It's so confusing and unhelpful that I just forget it even exists. That's why I decided to try a few Google Analytics alternatives with several main goals. First, I wanted an analytics platform that's accessible and easy to digest. If I feel like I have to be a data analyst to make sense of the dashboard, it's not for me. Second, I wanted a platform that not only respected user privacy, but respected my analytics data. I never liked the idea of trusting Google with my site analytics, so I want to know if I can trust the platform I migrate to. Now, I want to preface my testing by saying, I am not an expert in data analysis or marketing by any means. I'm your average business owner looking for basic metrics on my website, so I'm not going to drill down into the super advanced features or reports. However, I did get a lot of takeaways on the pros and cons of these platforms even by sticking to the basic features. Also, every platform I'm looking at offers a self-hosted option for more privacy and control. But for simplicity, I'm going to stick to the cloud versions of each platform. So with that in mind, the first alternative I tested was Umami. Umami is an open source platform that's GDPR compliant by default. You don't need to show any cookie consent banners to use it, and it was really easy to get started. You're able to pick whether your data is stored in the US or EU, and once you add the tracking script to your site, you're good to go. Umami presents a simple, at-a-glance screen to see site views, traffic sources, visitor location, and and other basics. Unfortunately, Umami has no way to import Google Analytics data, so you're gonna have to wait a few days for data to populate before you can get a feel for the dashboard. For more detailed information, Umami lets you generate reports on retention, viewer journey, and funnels. Umami is the only platform in this video with a free plan on the cloud version. To clarify, all of these platforms can be self-hosted for free on your own server, but that requires technical knowledge and you have to pay the server bill where it's hosted. Umami's cloud version has a free plan to track up to 10,000 monthly events on up to three websites. You get one year of data retention and almost all the features. Some features like email reports, teams, and API access are restricted for the pro plan. The pro plan scales based on usage, with the base plan priced at $9 a month for up to 100,000 monthly events, unlimited websites, and five years of data retention. Umami lets you export your data to a CSV file at any time, so you could archive your data before the retention period ends if you want an offline copy. You could also migrate to a new platform in the future if desired. Now, Umami can be used on any website, basically anywhere you can add your own HTML code to the site's header. But I mostly use WordPress, so I was bummed to see that Umami doesn't have any WordPress-specific integrations. There's a third-party plugin to install Umami, but it's not that difficult to install without the plugin, and there's still no integration to sync 
conversion data from WooCommerce or other parts of WordPress. If you're using WordPress, finding an analytics platform with deep integration can help you better optimize your site for success. However, a huge factor that can hinder conversions is poor site performance. You need fast, reliable WordPress hosting, and that's exactly what you'll find at WP Engine. WP Engine is the sponsor of today's video, and their world-class WordPress hosting powers over 1.5 million websites globally. Whether you have a basic WordPress site or a WooCommerce store, WP Engine keeps your site up and running no matter the demand. WP Engine has all the features I look for in web hosting, like automatic daily backups, a staging environment, DDoS protection, and 24-7 phone and chat support. That's why I've hosted my sites on WP Engine for the past few years, and right now, they're offering four months free with an annual plan with promo code CRAILERMADE20. They have an automated migration tool to help you transfer your site, so go to the link below to get started. Thanks again to WP Engine for sponsoring this video. And now, let's take a look at another Google Analytics alternative with a deeper WordPress integration. Plausible is an open source analytics platform that is GDPR compliant. All analytics are taken anonymously and data is processed exclusively in the EU. Plausible can be installed with an HTML snippet just like Umami, or you can use the official WordPress plugin to activate it. You can import Google Analytics data, which makes it much easier to get a feel for the dashboard while you wait for live site metrics to roll in. There's also an integration with Google Search Console, so you can see which search terms your site is ranking for right in the plausible dashboard. When you set it up using the WordPress plugin, you can toggle enhanced measurements like 404 error pages, outbound links, search queries, and e-commerce revenue. If you use WooCommerce, tracking e-commerce revenue automatically creates custom events for when a visitor adds to cart, removes from cart, starts checkout, and completes checkout, including purchase totals. The WordPress plugin also allows you to bypass ad blockers with a proxy. It does this by running the plausible script as a first party connection on your domain name so it won't get flagged by ad blockers. The plausible dashboard is simple and easy to navigate, and you can set up goals, custom events, and funnels right from the main screen. You can also toggle weekly or monthly email reports in the site settings, including reports on sudden traffic surges or drops. Plausible is affordable too, with plans starting at $9 a month for up to 10 websites, 10,000 monthly page views, and three years of data retention. For $19 a month, you can scale up to 100,000 monthly page views. Unfortunately, custom properties, funnels, and e-commerce revenue attribution are reserved for the business plan, which is double the price of the starter plan. So if you require 100,000 monthly page views and want the extra features, the business plan will cost $39 a month. But something that will always be free is hitting that subscribe button. Subscribing and clicking the bell will ensure that you never miss a new video. The third analytics platform I tested was Matomo. Just like the others, Matomo is open source and GDPR compliant by default, with servers located in the EU. To activate Matomo, you can either add the HTML snippet to your site, or you can install the WordPress plugin. The WordPress setup guide is a hot mess. It's really not that difficult to set up. You just install the plugin and follow a few steps to connect it to your Matomo account. But the 18 step guide makes it seem much more complicated than it is. Thankfully, Matomo allows you to import Google Analytics data so you can get a feel for the dashboard from day one. Sadly, importing Google Analytics data generates a new site in Matomo. You can't merge sites, so you either have to update the tracking script on your website to the new site created by the import, or you'll just have two websites in your dashboard. Matomo also integrates with Google Search Console similar to Plausible, and the WordPress plugin can sync WooCommerce data to track actions like adding items to cart and completed transactions. The dashboard is the most customizable of the three platforms, allowing you to add and move widgets as desired. You can see the basics at a glance, and you can drill down to to view visitors, behavior, acquisition, funnels, heat maps, and more. Matomo is more advanced than the other platforms I tried, and that comes at the cost of simplicity. The WordPress plugin has so many settings that can be configured, so I don't think it's the best fit for the average user. It seems more focused on developers who know exactly what they're doing and can fine tune settings to make it run exactly how they want. I initially got sticker shock when looking at Matomo's pricing too. The cheapest plan is $26 a month for 50,000 views on up to 30 websites. This seems expensive when Plausible starts at $9 a month and Umami has
as a free plan, but Plausible hides some of its features behind the business plan, which is double the price. When you compare Matomo's 100,000 view plan to Plausible's business plan, Matomo is only $3 more expensive. Considering the extra flexibility and added value with heat maps and session recordings, Matomo looks like a great value. With that being said, one thing that bothered me with both Matomo and Umami was views not being counted from browsers that have ad blockers. Browsers like Brave, Opera, and Firefox have built-in tracker blockers, and since these browsers are gaining market share, you could be missing out on a lot of legitimate views in your analytics. There are workarounds for all three platforms, but Plausible makes this simple if you're using WordPress. In Matomo, you still have to do additional technical steps to make this work, and it's something I don't think the average user is going to do. To be fair, Google Analytics has been blocked by these same tracker blockers for years, but I really like the idea of my analytics platform being able to work around this, and unfortunately in Matomo, it's difficult to set up. Now, an honorable mention is Fathom. I didn't test Fathom in detail as I wanted to stick to fully open source platforms for this video, but it's another common alternative to Google Analytics. It starts at $15 a month for 100,000 page views, and it offers a simple, straightforward experience similar to Umami. It's fully GDPR compliant with traffic from the EU rerouting through its EU servers. So in the end, which Google Analytics alternative is best? If you just need a free, basic solution for low traffic websites, use Umami. The free plan is good for up to 10,000 monthly events, and that can be increased to 100,000 monthly events for just $9 a month. Umami doesn't reserve any features for higher plans, making it an insanely good value. If you use WordPress, I'd recommend Plausible. I like that you can seamlessly import Google Analytics data, and the deep integration with WordPress, including WooCommerce data, is invaluable. The proxy feature can be easily toggled in the WordPress plugin to bypass ad blockers, and this is something that takes a lot more more technical setup with other platforms. If you're a power user and you want full control over everything, go with Matomo. It's not for everyone. It's a bit too advanced for my needs, but it's customizable enough to do most anything. The session recordings and heat maps are also a significant value add you won't find in the other platforms. After years of defaulting to Google Analytics out of habit, I am happily switching all my WordPress sites to Plausible. I'm looking forward to actually paying attention to my analytics again, which will help me improve improve my sites. But thankfully, I've already optimized them with WP Engine, and if you want to get 4 months free with an annual plan, I'll have it linked below. Once you set up analytics on your website, you can optimize your site even further with email marketing. I did a full tutorial on integrating email marketing with WordPress that you can check out here.